Well, Jo, how are pre-season preparations going? Going really well. Um, we've been in probably about six weeks now, start of January, so we've had a really good a good time to, to get going, get the squad back together and get some really important training sessions in and, and just get the girls trying to gel together again and, and looking forward to this season. Mm -hmm. It was a fantastic season last season. Are you hoping to go one better? Definitely. That's something that our aim is to do each year. We try to look to improve on, on previous years and, and try and do better. And, and for us this year, that's, that's surely to go one better and win the league. Mm -hmm. Do you think the squad will be stronger, um, not just in terms of numbers and ability, but also mentally after what you went through? Yeah, experience-wise. I think you look at the whole of last season, the Champions League run, the, the quarter-finals, the semi-finals, playing over two legs. Um, for some of the younger players, that's valuable in, it, uh, valuable in it experience. And that's something that's going to stay with them now throughout their careers. And, and hopefully we can use that and play on that sh this year and, and go on better and, and try and do the better things that we missed out on last year, which is which is winning cups and, and winning semi-finals and, and winning leagues. So, you know, we've got to look to that this year. Do you still think about that Notts County game? Um, no, <laughs> that's in the past. You know, we, we did look at it, we, we experienced it and we try not to dwell on it. It's something that we can't affect now. We've just got to look to the future and, and try and do one better, as I say, this year and, and look to maybe, if it has to come down to it this year, it doesn't try not to come down to the last game of the season. We look to what we could have potentially done in games leading up to that to to make it already put the league to bed, you know, because we had chances to, to win games before that. So, you know, we look at it and we learn from it. So we look at this year and, and we try and do better and that's all we can do. Mm -hmm. Do you think there might be a little bit extra pressure on you this season? Because obviously after what you did and maybe people weren't expecting that in the last campaign. Yeah, you know, we're, we're kind of always the underdogs and that's that's how we like it. That's where we like to be. And and this year we had to do something to bridge that gap between us and the and the bigger clubs as such. You know, um, I think there was only us that was potentially part time. Um, we finished behind Chelsea and Liverpool, who were both full time clubs. So we had to do something to bridge that gap as such. And and going full time is going to help us do that this year. Um, we don't have the maybe the money power to bring in big players from overseas but you know the players that we signed this year are going to be massive assets to the club and to the to the squad and to the team going forward. Mm -hmm. You mentioned a, a couple of new signings have come in, how are, how are those girls going to fit in to the group? Yeah I think when the when the staff go out to sign players they look to sign Blues players as such and they look for the characters and, mm -hmm. and people first and foremost which is brilliant because the girls have settled in straight away and you look at the, the playing positions that they brought in that's probably where we were lacking and bringing in competition is only going to help and and looking at it going forward it's it's going to be a really exciting season I think